hey you guys welcome back to my channel today is day 25 of my 75 soft challenge y'all we are a quarter of a way through only 50 more days left and i totally feel like um it hasn't been that long if i feel like you know i'm just living day to day i'm I'm not feeling like, oh my God, I have 50 more days because at the beginning of this challenge, I had shifted my mindset to say, hey, this is how my day-to-day -day life is going to be. Like, it's, it's nothing special. It's nothing different. Getting up early, working out, getting my water in, making sure that I'm eating healthy, making sure I'm feeding my mind with something positive as far as reading, like actually reading a book. I'm actually looking to see what my next book is going to be. So if you guys have any recommendations on what I should read next, let me know. Today is a leg day. I'm terrified. It's my first time really ever being terrified of leg day because leg day has been kicking my tail but that is your most dominant um for most people that is your most dominant muscle and it burns the your most dominant muscle burns the most calories and fat so it takes a little bit more energy out of you so pray for me but today is leg day i'm gonna knock this out and i see you guys at breakfast all right you guys i start my workout with a warm up and then I hit some heavy weights here squatting a hundred pounds. This is what makes me so tired, but I know the gains are gonna be so worth it. Then I'm gonna just hit an exercise that's focused on my quads, which is one of my dominant muscles. Then I go upstairs to create a workout for you guys. Today I'm creating a cardio body weight workout something that you can do in the home or in the gym as a warm-up or a workout so i made it to work and i'm in here laughing at myself because it's friday and i don't want to intermittent fast i want to go ahead and eat and i don't want to eat nothing unhealthy i just want a big bowl of watermelon and some scrambled eggs and i know that sounds crazy but that's just what i want and i'm really truly believing whatever you put in your gut is what you want to eat and that's all i want this morning is some watermelon and some scrambled eggs and on tiktok this guy is squeezing lemon juice over his watermelon so i do want to see what that tastes like but i wanted to i said all that to say how we war with ourselves and when you find yourself warring with yourself just know that's your flesh talking your body listen to your spirit listen to your schedule i am scheduled to fast for 16 hours every day now last night i ended up eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich around about nine o'clock before i went to bed so that's gonna push my fasting time out to about one o'clock which is fine so i won't be able to eat anything till one and that is my schedule monday through friday a 16 hour fast and I'm like telling myself it's Friday. Like how many times we have made a decision simply because of the day that it's, it's going to be another Friday next week. So we don't need to be making decisions because of a day or a feeling or, or a person or a situation, whatever you're scheduled to do, stick to your schedule. Now I came in to work 30 minutes early. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my 10 pages really quick before I have to log in. And I will see you guys at breakfast. All right, you guys, I am late to the party. It is four o'clock. I broke my fast at 11 with a banana and peanut butter. I could not wait. I wanted to wait till one to do a full 16 hours, but I couldn't. So I just ate something at 11. And my appetite kept increasing. So you guys know I wanted some watermelon and some scrambled eggs. So I ran to the grocery store and I got some watermelon. And I've already eaten, eaten half of it. This was full. This was earlier when I ate it. I did not eat, eat the scrambled eggs. I just was so content with the watermelon. I was, I didn't do the eggs. I read this morning so that has been done and i have some lemon so you guys know i wanted to try the watermelon with lemon i seen this guy on tiktok do so 
let's see what it tastes like. I'm a little nervous. The, the, the acid and the sweetness may not work. Let's see. Mm -mm. That's what I thought. The sweetness and the acidity from the lemon, that don't work for me. It looked good, though. But those two combination was not good. I am so behind on water. My energy level has depleted. My cycle came on. But it's okay. I was already prepared. I've learned probably over the past six months to know exactly when my cycle is going to come on and how it makes me feel and what cravings it provokes and what moods it provokes and my energy level. So my energy level is dropped. I'm tired, but I'm still going to push through. I'm going to finish out my water and continue to eat healthy. I have one more meal prep, dinner meal prep left for the week. So I'll either do that or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I will definitely check back with you guys to kind of conclude exactly what I did because today did not go as planned, but I still stayed on track far as my nutrition. So I will see you guys at dinner. All right, you guys, I'm home. I went to take Traylon to get a haircut. Our, everything is on the other side of town, like our barber, doctor's office everything so oh that was a 20 minute ride but i made it back home i'm gonna finish my last meal prep dinner that i had made and maybe have like either another peanut butter and um banana little dessert thing i like or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so kind of like as my little quote unquote dessert so i'm gonna have this and i will see you guys in the next video oh my water Look at the Holy Spirit talking to me. This is a little bit of water left. I'm going to finish that with my dinner. So I'm practically done with that as well. So now I will see you guys in the next video.